Hi everyone, it's Karen here. I'm just here today to bring you my first project for April for Craft Supplies for You. I am on the guest design team for the next few weeks and this will be my first project and there'll be one more this month and then to follow in the next two months after that. I'm very proud to represent Craft Supplies for You as a designer and to show you some of the beautiful things that she has in the store. In the description box below you will find the links to her two stores, um, her the blog, Pinterest, and uh, Facebook pages, and then all the designers that are part of this amazing team are listed below as well. So please go and check out their channels and see all the beautiful things that they make with supplies from Craft Supplies for You. I'm just going to move this out of the way, adjust my little sign, and I'm going to bring in the project that I completed for this month. I did an altered canvas, uh, just a small canvas that I purchased at the dollar store, and then I just lavished it up with all these beautiful laces and trims from Craft Supplies for You, and I just got the image um, online. It was a free image that I could print off, and I just thought it was so cute being that it's spring. It reminded me of spring, and it reminded me of the upcoming Easter season, and um, so I used that image. So I started on the, the edge of the canvas with the Craft Supplies for You pleated trim, and it's this one is in pink, and it has a lovely shimmer to it. And then I began layering on all these lovely goodies. This is a beautiful Craft Supplies for You lace behind here. And um, it's called a white lace, and it's, it's very pretty. It has a, a lovely pattern in it, and it's a really pretty, pretty lace. And then I put this beautiful butterfly trim was the to be the focus of my project for this time. And <clears throat> it this is the trim here, and it's a beautiful, soft, um, shimmery. It's got a beautiful trim on the edge and it's got these little silver butterflies all printed on it. And so I took the trim and I just made little scallops with it all the way around. I'll just bring this up a little bit so that you can see I scalloped it in to make it look almost like a bit of a <clears throat> flower shape around the image. The image, this little pink trim was from my stash, but this little pretty, pretty rosette trim here, and it, that's what it's called, rosette trim, is from Craft Supplies for You. And although it's not picking up on the camera, it has a lovely little shimmery thread that runs through it. It's really lovely. And this is, um, the, the little bow is from my stash, but a little piece of bling in the center of the bow is from Craft Supplies for You. And then I added all this beautiful um, dangles at the bottom which are there's three or four different dangles that make up the bottom plus I added in some beads and some pearls and trim just to kind of add interest into there as well so the peacock trim is under there and I added the little flowers these are from craft supplies for you and then I used this trim, which I got from Craft Supplies for You, which is, I can see, it's going to be really a versatile trim. It's like this, and it has these really pretty, shimmery little flowers on the edge. And that's how the trim comes. But as you can see, what I did with it is I cut it into the little flower strips, and I used them as part of the dangles. I'll just bring this up again so you can see. And I just attach them at the top and let them dangle down as part of the dangles. And there's some beads, some little things, and then a couple of my little beaded butterflies. And then in the peacock, in the eyes of the peacock trim, which you can sort of see the trim there, I've put these little flowers, which I cut off of a stem from Craft Supplies for You. This is the stem here, and this was just a mass of these little pinky, peachy flowers with the stamens as well. And I 
cut all the flowers off and individually placed them where I wanted them. And then this mound of flowers at the bottom here is all craft supplies for you. And again, just I just mounded them all up on the bottom to make this beautiful um, trailing flower bouquet. These little pink flowers that are the center focus, the three of them here, are these little pink satin flowers. And they come three in a bunch and they are so, so pretty. So that is my project for my first project for the month of April for Craft Supplies for You. I hope that you go and check out the store and check out all the other great designers in the group and have fun doing some shopping and making some beautiful projects of your own. Have a great day.